Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to see you all here tonight. My name is Jane Schottel. I'm the lead programmer for the special presentation section. And it gives me great pleasure. Let's hear it for special presentations. <laughs> It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to tonight's world premiere screening of The Lost King, written by the Oscar-nominated team of Steve Coogan and Jeff Pope, starring the ever-luminous Sally Hawkins, and directed by the multi-award-winning Oscar-nominated Stephen Frears. I would like to thank our lead and major sponsors, Bell, RBC, Bulgari, and Visa for their continued support. Thank you to our major supporters, the Government of Canada, the Government of Ontario, Telefilm Canada, and the City of Toronto for their continued support. This film is eligible for the People's Choice Award. Vote for your favorite films at tiff.net backslash vote. We would also like to thank IFC Films and Pathé International for providing us with this film. Stephen Frears has had a remarkable career. His very long list of films include My Beautiful Laundrette, Prick Up Your Ears, Sammy and Rosie Get Laid, Dangerous Liaison, The Grifters, High Fidelity, Dirty Pretty Things, The Queen, Philomena, Florence Foster Jenkins, Victoria and Abdul, and more. Tonight's film is a rewarding and fascinating addition to this remarkable body of work, inspired by the true story of a woman who found purpose in searching for the truth about a falsely maligned monarch who lived 500 years before her time. She battled academia and bureaucracy for his recognition, and ultimately, and more gently, her own. It's an amazing story with an interesting Canadian connection. We're pleased to have an opportunity to speak with our guests after the screening, but please join me and welcome you back to Toronto, Stephen Frears. Thank you for coming out. And, th and thank you, Toronto, for having me back. You must be sick of the sight of me. Anyway, it's very, very nice to be here. And quite odd on this day of all days. The, someone said the Queen had been involved in the death of three of her predecessors. George VI, whose funeral I remember, Edward VIII, who of course abdicated, and now Richard III. <laughs> anyway, some of the people who made the film are here. Somewhere in the audience is the editor, but God knows where. Anyway, there she is. <laughs> Sally Hawkins sent her apologies, but thanks, thank, uh, I was very, very pleased to have the film here. And now, the writers and the actor, Steve Coogan. Will you introduce her? And Jeff Pope. <laughs> we did this before with Philomena. You can go and look that up. I'm sure it's on YouTube. Uh, oh yeah, uh, anyway, thank you all for coming. Uh, Jeff and I and Stephen last worked together on a film called Philomena, and uh, it was fortuitous that uh, when we stumbled across uh, the story of Philippa Langley and her search for Richard the Sec Richard the Third, or Richard the Second. Um, we've got a new th uh, third now, I mean, Charles the Charles the Third, which sounds strange to say, but um, there, there we are. Um, but um, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a real um, joy to be able to reunite uh, the team that made Philomena uh, and a very different subject matter, but uh, one that does share some DNA in common with uh, Philomena uh, in that it is the story of uh, uh, one woman's struggle uh, against uh, mighty powers, if you like. Um, and we're quite pleased with it and we hope you enjoy it. I, I, I won't keep going, I just want to say this is a film in celebration of all middle-aged, divorced housewives. <laughs> Yeah. 
And on that note. You know, on that note. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Hello, thank you for sticking around. Uh, my name is Mark Kishodi. I'm part of the programming team here. Please welcome back Stephen Frears, Steve Coogan, and Jeff Pope. So we're going to throw it over to you guys in just a sec, but um, to start with you, uh, I'd love to hear a little bit about how you all found out um, about Philippa, her story, and how this whole project came together. Uh, well, I, I met Philippa about eight years ago in Edinburgh for lunch, having seen the documentary, and uh, uh, asked her, just had lunch with her and asked her about her whole experience. And when she told me about uh, her being sort of the whole st whole story from beginning to end, and uh, and it was a long lunch, and uh, she, and then she told me about sort of being elbowed out at the end. I thought, well, this is definitely a, a good story, and uh, and I then talked to Jeff, and uh, we we uh, we talked about how we tell the story, and we thought there was a real opportunity with the sort of. Uh, the, the, the balance between Richard having been judged and her having been judged in a way, uh, that those two things were married together. And she also told me that she had sort of imagined, well, she imagined conversations with Richard, so we decided that we'd, after a few drafts, we thought, well, we'll, we'll bring him to life and, um, and make him flesh. And, uh, and then we went and spoke to Stephen and said, what do you reckon? And he says, yeah, all right, if you make it better, if you improve it, I'll direct it. <laughs> yeah, Stephen, I'd love to hear about, you know, what you thought about Philippa's story and what was it like working with Sally and how she came onto the project as well. Well, I obviously liked it. <coughs> it's quite a big decision to make a film. So anyway, I liked it and... Um, and then what was the question? Oh, well, uh, Sally, was, yeah. I met Sally and thought she'd be very good. It's a, you know, it's a quite normal process. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Steve and uh, Jeff, to talk about the writing a little bit, uh, w what's the process like for you guys? Do you send it back and forth? Do you sit down and hash it out? I'd love to hear about that. I, I just want to first of all say <clears throat> thank you very much for that reaction. It was um, really, really gratifying to hear it get some air. The real audience, thank you. Thank you. We're, um, we're not low rent, but Steve and I were keeping a, a laugh count uh, as, as they came up. So, but thank you for that. Um, we, 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 people, I, I, I've worked with other writers as in, uh, in the past as well, but every word is we're both together in, this, in the room at the same time. And I get the great privilege of, I mean, it, as we were writing that, Steve would have been his character, he would have been Philippa, he would have been Richard Buckley, he would have been Richard, he'd have been all the characters with different voices. I've, I've said this before, I, I feel like a guy with a giant butterfly net catch it because the, the, as some of the lines come out and we get into the character. So, but we, it's a really, uh, I, I'm privileged to, be part of that process, and it is it, it yeah. never never tire of it. It's always yeah. We, we it's always it's it, it's always a, a tussle. We we argue a lot. We sort of know each other well enough that we can be. We don't have to stand on ceremony. We can be sort of abrupt and even rude with each other and say no, that's bollocks, that's crap, and you know, or he'll say that to me, and the world, and then we just we just we hammer it out. It's yeah. very sort of um, workman like. Uh, well, yeah. Stephen, I'm, I'm very curious. What is it like directing one of the writers of the screenplay? Mm. Does Steve ever give you pushback on anything? Or? Well, every now and then you can say, who wrote this rubbish? <laughs> <laughs> sure. uh, I let him do those jokes. It makes him happy. <laughs> okay, so we'll open it up to the audience. If you've got a question, please raise your hand, um, and I will do my best to repeat it. Yes, right here. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> Can't avoid it, so you have to lean into it, as they say. Okay, other questions? 
Yes, right there. I don't think you understand. I have an honorary doctorate from Leicester. It's a magnificent <laughs> university. They might be asking for that back quite soon. <laughs> my, my son, uh, Max, who's here tonight, is also went to Leicester University as well. Thank you. He's he finished his course. He has, yeah. yes. Um, look, it's not a polemic. It's not, uh, per se, an attack on Leicester University. But what we discovered as we dug into the story and read and read and spoke to Philippa and built our research base up was that, for obvious reasons, Leicester had lionised the credit for the discovery of Richard III. Um, so when you saw the press conference, um, we found him, Leicester led the search. Really, I understand why they did it, but it's unfair. So we simply showed what actually happened, which was Philippa led the search, and in that sense, Philippa found him. I think what happens is big institutions don't act in a sort of self-consciously pernicious way. They just behave in that uh, as a sort of cohesive whole. And if you're not part of it, then you are almost intuitively marginalized and made a footnote. I mean, there's an, always a, there was an acknowledgement of Philippa, but little more than that. And um, uh, what we simply wanted to do was redress the balance. I think what they hadn't figured on is someone deciding to make a film about her. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and, and, and it was a very self-conscious thing. We want to put her back in the spotlight. And in fact, when I t told people we were making this film, we said, we're doing about the woman who found Richard III. And people would say, oh, was it a woman? I thought it was last university. And I was like, well, good, because we're going to correct that. Uh, it's true. Okay. I'll just give you one small fact. At the press conference to announce that Richard, that the remains were Richard III's, there were 13 speakers organized by Leicester University to speak that day. Number 13 was Philippa Langley. She was literally the last speaker. So that's not us spinning it, that's, that's a fact. And uh, uh, Steve said right from the beginning, he felt that this movie was the end of Philippa's journey. And, and the massive highlight was finding Richard III. Then it was a difficult period when she felt that a lot of the credit that was due her was taken away. And that what you just saw is the end of that journey, we hope. And that she's, we're just saying, she deserves all the credit. That, you know, the credit that, that she's due. Uh, more questions? Way in the back over there, yes. So a uh, question for the editor. I don't know if we'll be able to get a response, but um, you know about women in the film industry as well and whether there's um, any reflection of Philippa's story. In, uh, Peter, make yourself known. Right there, yes. Listen. <coughs> Go ahead. I'm an old white man. You don't realize where true tragedy lies. Oh, we've got Steve. We've got our Mike Usher coming up to you. Go ahead. Um, so, well, basically, when I started, it was a battle. Um, I had to fight for every interview, and I had to go and look dressed tough, like in leather, and just try to make myself taller and tougher. And, um, but now I can dress the way I want. I'm working with masters in the industry, and it's all based on hard work, I think. And working with actors like this, I'm just thrilled to bits to have worked this, uh, on this film with Stephen. And, um, Stephen and I have worked on a few films together, and I'm honored to be in my hometown. And um, so, thank you, Tiff, and thank you, Steve, and Jeff, and, and Stephen. I love you all. Okay, more questions. Do we have any questions in the balcony? Yes, way in the back over there. Uh, 
A uh, question about, has Philip has seen the film? What's her reaction to the... Yes, we, we had an extremely... Uh, Philip was involved all the way through. Um, couldn't have worked this any other way. She was, uh, at the first viewing, slightly run over by it. It, it was utterly shell-shocked. But um, she's watched it. And I, I, I've worked a lot in um, dramas based on true stories. And the, there's, a, there's a leap that, that comes around the third or fourth time you view it, which is you suddenly stop thinking, really, that's me. And you, you start to become objective. And you, you stand back and see the story for what it's, work, uh, what it's worth. But the last word on that, Stephen, was when you, you had lunch with her recently, didn't you? No, I met her on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. I said, did we get it right? She said, yes. There we are. Oh, that's great. That's all you need to know. We have time for one more question. This lady at the front there? There's a lady oh, at the front. Yes, right here. Go ahead. Uh, question about Philippa, yes. are we going to see any interviews or anything uh, yeah, like yes, that? Yes, Philippa will be taking part. She's not here, but there's going to be a lot of promotion, and yes, she is actively taking part in it. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, she wants to do interviews and talk about it, yeah, talk about what happened. Okay, we have time for one more very quick question. Oh, yes. Right there, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, well, let's hear it one more time for The Lost King. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out.